and welcome back to my channel today is a collaboration with Technic we did that festival look um, a few weeks ago and now I'm bringing you this pink glossy eye um, I actually really really like how it turned out I didn't know how it was going to look on me and um, because I've never done really done a look like this but I actually really really like it um, I don't often wear pinks either but I do really like it um, so yeah, Technic is a really, really good brand. If you've got any, if you love makeup but don't want to spend that much money, then this is the brand for you because it is really, really good and affordable. Um, thank you to Technic for reaching out to me and asking um, to collab with them. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this pink glossy look using Technic products, then please stay tuned. So I'm starting off with the Matte Mineral Foundation. This is in the colour Cinnamon. Um, it's really nice. I didn't think I would like matte um, foundation because uh, I thought it would dry my skin out. But this one's really, really good and I was really happy with how um, it looked on my skin. So I've just put that in little dots all over my face and I'm using a blank canvas F20 I think brush to blend that out um, and I just and it does oxidize to your skin. So when I first put it on, it does look slightly light, um, but then it does kind of blend and yeah, I was really, really happy with it and I will go on to use this again. For the brows, I'm going in and using this brow tamer. It's got a powder and then a wax, which is the darker colour. Um, I go in and use the powder with an angled brush and then I'm going over um, again with that wax. I stand by what I said with the last video is that I absolutely love the wax. That Not only is it wax, but it like darkens the colour. Um, and I have used it with my other brow products that I normally use. Um, but yeah, I really, really love how the powder and the wax work together. And I'm just going over and creating a angled Angled, um, angled, <laughs> and more of an arched brow. For the base of my eyelids, I'm going in with these contour sticks. This is the cream one, and I'm just running it underneath and over the top of my brows and um, over the lid. I'm then going to blend that out and put some translucent powder on top, um, just to kind of set not only my brows and make them neat, but um, to give my eyelid a base to put the powder on. Powder put the eyeshadow on. For my eyeshadow I'm actually using the Colour Fix blush palette. There's some absolute beautiful colours in this palette and I'm going in with this light kind of brownie creamy colour um, as my transition shade. Obviously I've got that translucent powder on my eyes already so it's just really easy to blend when you've got another powder or you know something on your eyelids ready. And then going in with this slightly more kind of peachy colour again to build up that transition which is such a pretty colour and really kind of um, looks so lovely on the skin without being too bold. And then going in with these two pink colours. These are more bright um, and bold as you can see and I'm just applying that all over my lid literally just with my finger on, so it's more pigmented and then going in with that brush back again with the peachy colour and kind of blending that into my transition shade. Next up for the bottom lashes, I'm going in with this, the darkest colour from this palette and kind of creating like an upside down wing but also bringing it right across under my eye um, and I just thought it'd be something a little bit different but also stand out um, from obviously the gloss that I'm going to be applying onto the top lid. For lashes I'm going in with these which are the natural lashes and they look like this and they're slightly smaller on the inner corner. You do get glue with these lashes which I think is a great idea because a lot of lashes don't come with glue. Um, so I've just applied it to the lash and I've actually let it set for about 30 seconds or so just to make it a little bit more tacky and that makes it easier to apply them. And then I'm just applying them by firstly using the, um, sticking the outer corner and then teasing in slowly into the inner corner and I'm just going to let that set. While I do that I'm going in with the contour, contour sticks again. This time I'm using the darker shade. Um, you, can, you can get them in a pack of three which is really really handy um, and I'm just blending that out with a fluffy brush and I'm kind of building up as I go because I don't want to put on too much too soon. So I'm just putting little lines over my face and then blending that out. So like I said they come in a pack of three, this is the light one which I already used earlier on my eyelids and I'm just running that underneath my eye. These are really handy because they actually screw up from the bottom so you won't run out of um, the pen as such, you kind of just scroll it up, it's like a crayon I guess. And I'm just putting that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose and in the middle of my forehead and I'm just using a blend... Uh, beauty blender to just blend that out and it's actually really even though it's quite a stiff cream in the pot it's really easy to blend onto your skin um, so it's perfect for kind of highlight and anywhere really 
Now that my lashes have dried, I'm going in and using the Mega Lash Mega Volumizing Mascara onto my lashes on the false lashes and the uh, bottom lashes. I only use them on the false because I like to seal my natural lashes in with the fake. I'm then going in with the Get Gorgeous um, Highlighting Bronze colour. Uh, this is the most insane colour. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's so pretty. It's a really gold, bronzy colour and also gives you a bit of a glow too. And I'm applying that kind of as basically as a bronzer but slightly higher because it has got them highlighted pigments in it. It's quite nice to go a little bit over your cheekbone um, as I'm doing now. I'm also applying this bronzing um, colour that I use on my face to the collarbones and my kind of chest area and I think it looks so pretty when you've got a tan it just gives you that glossy bronzy look um, and obviously it's just makeup so it'll just wash off but it looks really really pretty and yeah I really love how it looked on the skin. As this is a really pink look, I thought I'd go in and apply some blusher. This is the Blusher Stick Cream um, Blusher. It's really big. It's a really big stick, and as you just saw, I smelt it, and it is the most amazing smelling product I think I've used. So I've just drawn that onto my face using the big crayon and blending it out with the foundation brush that I used. I'm then going in with this which is my favourite highlighter, it's the Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder in Pink Sparkle and it is literally, what it says on the tin, it's pink and sparkly and probably one of my favourite highlights to use. Just to get that added extra glow I'm going in with the strobe kit, you guys know that I've been using this for a long long time and it is one of my favourite um, drugstore products anyway. Um, so I'm just using it on them areas that I've highlighted just to give it an extra pop because who doesn't need extra highlight, am I right? Um, so I'm going in and applying that and then we're moving on to the lips. For the lips, I'm going in and using the Colour Max lipstick. So I'm going in and applying this. It's this beautiful kind of nudie pink shade. I absolutely love um, this color kind of color. As you know, I always use nudes. Um, and this, I think it's the color, um, I thought it was the color Naked, but I think it's Rumour Has It, as it's got that written on the box, on the bottle. So um, that's that. Um, so I've applied that all over to my, all, all over my lips. <laughs> I can't speak and then I'm applying the gloss to my lips because I thought I'm gonna do glossy eyes why not do glossy lips as well so I'm applying that which is the lip gloss from Technic of course um, and I'm applying that same product on my eyes as well so I'm getting the pot I've kind of put it on my hand a little bit as well um, just to kind of I didn't want to get the lip gloss dirty um, I will you know with product um, so I've used a disposable thing um, but I've added some of the gloss onto my eyes and onto my lips and then I'm applying that really bright highlight that I love um, onto the rest of the highlighted areas. This is the finished look so I really hope you liked this look. Please go and check out Technic's products. They're honestly so good and really, really affordable. So for those of you that um, love makeup but don't want to spend a lot, these are amazing products that you can buy. Um, especially their highlight. You know that I've been using their highlight for a while. Um, and now that I've got my hands on that pink one, I can't stop using it. So I really hope you liked this pink uh, glossy eye look. It's something really different. Um, but I actually really like it. I would never, ever normally go for something like this. But I really do actually like it. So... I hope you did. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new.